Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another full case break of 2019 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. We've been seeing some really nice stuff here. Um, Pick Your Team 5 filled up first, so that's why you see that video. And now we went back and finished off Pick Your Team 4. So thanks everybody here who got their teams straight up. Really appreciate that. We also have a number block break just for the Yankees in this particular break. And then we've got the serial numbers for the other teams right there. Atlanta, Boston, etc., etc., etc. You can see... Serial number teams in bold and the random number block in italics. For the Yankees, random number block. Pretty straightforward, I think. Big thanks to Diane, Sean, Brian, Joe, Chad, and Josh. And then there are the numbers right there, thanks to the numbers. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven times. Rich Schmidt, uh, Smith, that is. Uh, you are in the wrong room, Rich. If you read your item description, it should tell you what time the break is and the channel. It's in the studio behind me, but um, it's just a different channel. All right, so that's for the Yankees. Let's paste that there. Five and a six, eleven times for the numbers. One, two. Three. No worries, Richard. Good luck. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. and final time. We got zero down to seven. So zero gets any and all Yankees redemptions. Even if it's a one of one redemption, Brian. Brian, you also have nine. Joe with three. Diane with one and eight. Chad B with four, Sean with six, Josh five, Last Bob Mojo, Joe with two, and Diane with seven. Let's order these numerically. All right, then we've got serial numbers. So you get some of the higher end teams, you'll get serial numbers for your team. We sold 20 spots. One spot gets you five numbers. So if you end up with number 95, you'll get number 95 out of 99 for the Braves, 95 out of 99 for the Red Sox, 95 out of whatever for the White Sox, Reds, Indians, Dodgers, Phillies, and 95 out of whatever for the Giants, for all those teams. That's how it works. And we'll do another randomizer at the end, randomizing the original 20 names. Any non-numbered cards for the teams above, and any card serial numbered 101 and up just for these teams right here, hits and parallels and base cards included, will go to one, will be random, collected as one lot and randomized to one person on this list. So big thanks to these folks here. Let's print that out. So thanks to these folks. Let's times this by five. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And all numbers are in one through 100. And let's randomize these two lists, five and a one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, sixth and final time. After six, we got Laurel down to Diane. Five and one, six times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. No, ram.org doesn't want to do six. Come on, ram.org. Let's do it. Oh, did it, did it do it? There it is, sixth and final time. Number 62 all the way down to number 31. And I'll alphabetize these by your first names in just a second and share this uh, Google spreadsheet with you. Let me just show everyone this as is right now. Just so if you're watching the replay, you can hit pause, keep track of your numbers if you wanna audit the randomizer, whatever. 
Let's sort by column A. Brian Bledsoe, those are your numbers. Chad Stork, Chris, Corey, Diane, and 100 will get you any and all redemptions for the teams that are on the tab at the bottom right there. Jeremy, Joe, John, Joseph, Josh, Laurel, Michael, Mike Cody, those are your last spot mojo numbers. Good luck, Grego, and last but not least, Stephen K. Now, this reminds me, if there was a situation uh, just like uh, the last break, we pulled a redemption of an original sketch card, right? But there's no team attached to it. So then that means everybody gets a shot at it, right? So in that situation, I don't know if I doubt it's going to happen again, but just in case. If that situation happens again, we'll randomize that entire list and see who gets it. Now you're like, Joe, what if serial number spot Braves hit? Right, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go by team. No, it wouldn't really matter. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go by this list right here. So let's say if, like, what, what if one of those serial numbers, like, wins that thing? Then I'll go to this list and randomize the original 20 names here, and the name on top there will win it. So there you go. All right. Now let me share this document with you. Does anyone else need to see their numbers before we start the break? Let's say you can't open that team list that I'm about to drop in the chat. Let's say you're on a mobile device or something like that, or your browser can't open it. You need to see your uh, your numbers. Let me know. And there's a fresh case right there. We got random team half case random teams available on jazpiescasebreaks.com. And I think since this filled up, we've got one more case for uh, pick your teams. I believe so. Get into that whenever you see it. In fact, it's up now. Pick your team six is up now. So if you missed out on your teams the first time, then don't miss out this time. Start buying your teams before they're gone. Laurel, you need your numbers. There you go. You got 62, 76, 51, 18, and 34. Just for Atlanta, Boston, White Sox, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Dodgers, Phillies, San Francisco. All right, anyone else? All right, Brian Crouch, what's going on? All right. Okay, looks like no one else needs their numbers, so let's. I'm going to order that numerically again. And let's see who gets what. Good luck. There's this. Sealed fresh case right there. There's my knife over here. So there's six boxes on the left side and six boxes on the right side. All right, good luck, everybody. And there's the final printout right here. Who got the last spot mojo in this break? Who who bought the last team straight up? We gotta find that. It's very important. I 
I think it was it was Robert who got the Orioles. That was the last team picked up straight up. All right, Robert, so there you go. Got to get that last spot mojo started there. It's important per tradition. All right. Now we can, now we can continue. Good luck everybody. I think that pick your team that's on the site right now that we just loaded up is our last case for the time being. So once again, if you missed out on the first time or multiple times you missed out on your team, you're like, "Joe, my teams are always always gone." Don't miss out this time. And if you're listening to the sound of my voice and interested in that museum collection, I would highly encourage everybody to start picking up as many teams as you can straight up before they end up in a, uh, in a team random or a number block or a serial number or something like that. Did I grab the wrong... I grabbed the wrong stack, stack of cards. There we go. That's the hit right there. So maybe we can do the last pick your team um, straight up, which would be cool. All right, good luck everybody. Buster Posey leads us off. There's Syndergaard to 50. Oh, I think I missed that hit right there. Oh, they, they configured the, the pack differently. I see what's going on, all right. There's Corey Dickerson for the Pirates. That's gonna go to Robert Runkle with the Buckos. 40 out of 50. And this Clemente will go to you as well. All right, behind Ted Williams is, wow, Juan Soto, 24 out of 25. Jack with the Nats. Picking up the Nationals straight up, nice. And we've got Brandon Nemo, dual relic and autograph at a two ninety nine for Bradley, Bradley K with the Metropolitans. And then we've got Syndergaard, forty seven out of ninety nine quad relic for Bradley. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. Let's check some scores here. Nats up on the Phillies, seven to four in the top of the seventh. The Yankees game has has resumed. They're leading eight three on the Astros in the bottom of the sixth. Angels and Blue Jays are now tied five five in the bottom of the eighth. Marlins up 4-2 on the Cardinals in the bottom of the seventh. I have a little financial interest in the Cardinals. Need them to, to do it. Um, bottom of the fifth, Cubs are up on the Mets 6-3. I've got financial interest on the Cubs, so that's good. Top of the sixth in Milwaukee, the Reds are up 5-1 on the Brew Crew. I'm on the Reds tonight. Royals and Twins, Royals are up 4-1 in the bottom of the fifth. I'm on the Royals. And looks like Tampa Bay at Oakland is just warming up. And the hated ones, Giants, here in L.A. That game is just warming up as well. 
And the late game, Baltimore at Seattle. Super Jones to 150 for the Braves. That's the serial number. We'll set that aside over here. All right, behind the Man of Steel, Ricky Henderson is Quad Relic, Primary Pieces, Red Sox, Chris Sale, David Price, Andrew Benintendi, and Mookie Betts, 15 out of 75. Red Sox serial number. And that is for 15. Who's got number 15 on that list? That'll be Chad Stork. There you go, Chad. Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card reveals... Freddie Freeman, 26 out of 50. Archival autograph for the Braves. Braves are a serial number team. Number 26, that is for Joe Fisher. There you go, Joe. James, what's going on? Are we breaking open uh, Optic Basketball tonight? Sure. If you want to, I'm down. There you go, Joe Fisher. Behind Sal Perez is... Carlos Santana, 279 out of 299 for the Tribe. That's a serial number team. That is a number that's over 101. It's 101 and over. So this will be randomized to one person in the break. Or in that serial number list. And we've got for the Blue Jays, Josh Donaldson, 24 out of 35. Meaningful material. Box. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, next box. Did that look like Carrot Top? No, the hair, I think the, the hair wasn't orange enough. <laughs> Carrot Top delivering Grubhub orders now. There you go, James. Yeah, get into it. Get the ball rolling on that. I'd love to break open those blaster boxes tonight. After all, it is NBA draft night. We're have, still have the draft on right here. Yeah, that's true. Johnny is right. Carrot Top has bigger muscles. Carrot Top is jacked. He guess Carrot Top was... <laughs> Tired of him getting bullied around, and it's like, well, now he can bully you. All right, there's Machado, and there's Brandon Nemo, Jersey, Bat, Autograph, Bradley, with that one. There you go, Brad.
Uh, no, Diane. Let me read the item description. As it says there, it says, For the Braves, Red Sox, White Sox, Twin Reds, Indians, Dodgers, Phillies, Giants, any non-numbered cards or cards numbered over 100 will be randomized as one lot. And we've got Cubbies. We've got Anthony Rizzo, Kyle Schwarber, Jason Hayward, and John Lester. 39 out of 75. That's for Sean. We've got the Cubs straight up. Got Steven Matz, archival autograph out of 299. No worry, Sean. And beyond Roger Clemens is 5 out of 10, Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks. It looks like a Memorial Day or 4th of July jersey right there. John Mortolaro got the Diamondbacks straight up. Nice, Sean, you got the Mets straight up. Pick your team six, there you go. Pick your team six will be our last pick your team for the time being, boys and girls. So, I would. I think we can. We can do another one. We got plenty of time to do another one tonight. And my advice to you is to get into the action as quickly as possible, and buy buy early and often before uh, teams end up in uh, some sort of random number block or something like that. Unless you like those things, then we can we can do them. You can wait for those. But if you don't like them, start buying those teams straight up. We can we can do another break straight up. We did Pick Your Team 5 straight up. So I feel like we can do it for Pick Your Team 6. I don't know what's being added tomorrow. That's a, that, that is a Nick Jaspi question. He is the gatekeeper of the, of the website. There's Charlie Blackman for Donald. And that's right, Joe P. We did get you a hit. I thought you were watching live. Because I saw you comment earlier, but I guess maybe you had leave work or something. But yeah, congrats, man. Maybe maybe times they are a changing. There's uh, Xander Bogarts, 25 out of 35 for the Red Sox. It's a great patch there. Serial number 25 goes to Grego. There you go, Grego. Try, <coughs> try another break. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not getting all choked up. <coughs> I was going to say, try another break, Joe. Excuse me. Sorry about that. But um, try another break. Heat check. Do a heat check. See, see if uh, see if we're starting a hot streak or if that was just a one-time thing. Uh, out of two ninety-nine, there's archival autograph from Cool Whit Merrifield that goes to Robert Runkle, who got the Royals straight up. <laughs> no, Joe says you walk out of the casino on top. Fair enough. We'll see you next week. Are the Royals still up? Yeah, they're up four-one. Are they still in the first round? On the Twins. I'm on the Royals tonight. Yeah, it's pick 24. Round one. They're really milking it. And then we got Lourdes Guriel Jr. 14 out of 25. Two-color, dual relic 
for Joe Fisher and the Blue Jays. Bird Team Mojo. And behind Chris Bryant is Joey Gallo. 8 out of 25 quad relics. Nice colors in there for the Rangers. Ed Ram with the Rangers. Joey Gallo actually kind of hitting for average now, boys and girls. If he can keep that up, that, that, that makes him <laughs> extremely dangerous. If he can hit like 260... 255, 260, instead of his usual, like, 210. It's huge. That's a huge difference. So that could only generate more more walks. More pitch that he can hit for homers. Could be a real machine. I was on the Rangers today. They beat the Indians. Yeah, I think he landed on the DL, like a the other week, but hopefully he'll be back soon. Oh, Joe P saying he's in Arizona, where, where Joe P is on rehab. Are you allowed to sign a ball yesterday? Nice. Was he, what, give us the inside scoop, Joe. Was he, was he a nice guy or was he just like, all right, all right, I'll sign this. Get out of here! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rehabilitate my body. Oh, Joe P saying Joey's always cool. Seems like a chill guy. Vegas guy. Grew up with Bryce Harper. Seems to be down. He inscribed it Pico de Gallo. <laughs> nice. Joey Gallo. Good job. It's Ted Williams. It's over 101, so that'll be part of that lot. All right, Mike Piazza. Behind Mike Piazza is Will Clark. Five out of 25. Archival autograph for the Giants. That's a serial number team. Who has number five? Chad Stork with number five. There you go, Chad. Will the Thrill. One of the nicest uh, left-handed swings. In baseball, in the game. You're welcome, Chad. And we've got a dual relic for the Pirates. Chris Archer and Josh Bell. 14 out of 35 Pirates. Robert Runkle with the Buckos. My cousin, who is a Giants fan who grew up in Northern California, lives down here now. Um, he's a lefty. He, he swings lefty, so... He would always try to imitate Will Clark's swing. We've got J.D. Martinez, 36 out of 99. It's another serial number. 36. Joseph Andreessen with that. There you go, Joe. Uh, yes, Mr. Mike's dad. Yes, Chris. Uh, Julio Urias uh, is, is starting. I think Rich Hill went down with some... Some uh, some very concerning left arm, left forearm tightness or something like that. Not not a good sign. And there's Tuki Toussaint for the Braves, two ninety three at two ninety nine. So they they I thought they were going to use Julio Urias last night, but then I realized they're going to save him for the start the next day. So all right, that's oh that's a serial number. That's two ninety three. So that'll be part of the over one hundred randomizer. Joe P, let me drop the, Joe P dropped the uh, picture of the Gallo ball in the Facebook group. There's the link to the Facebook group right there if you want to check it out. I'll have to approve you after this uh, after this break if you're not already in the group. 
I don't know if Bueller was next. I don't think he was. I think there was like a day off somewhere where the, the word they kind of pushed back all the all the guys a day or something like that. But yeah, Urias will be will be squaring off against Madison Bumgarner, I believe. I think it's Bumgarner. Yeah, Bumgarner's on the mound tonight. We'll see if uh, see if Max Muncy goes deep on him again. Okay, next box. Ooh, Cardinals are creeping back. Four three, top of the eighth. They might. I think they walked it off yesterday. They might have to do that again tonight. Joe, how 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 big is Joey Gal? Joey Gal's a big dude, right? Uh, six. I guess I thought he was taller than six five. Say six five is pretty tall, but six five two thirty. Oh, Joe, you think six three? Google's lying. Probably. I don't know. Those listed heights are always weird, though. Jo Joey Gallo may, may just... That could be from like a... Uh, that's for the Astros. That's for Mark. That could just be from like a media guide. Where they try to give, give those guys like an extra couple inches. That's for Chad Stork and the Padres. All right, we've got a dual relic for the Nats. Steven Strasburg and Trey Turner. 27 out of 50 for Jack and the Nats. Right, right, right. He's 6'5 if his hair is up. 6'5 in heels. We got Mark Grace. Nice. That's 106 out of 149. That goes to Sean, who got the Cubs straight up. Two jerseys and a bat. Nice. All game used material. You're welcome, Sean. That's pretty cool. And we got a quad relic. These are all nationals. There's Ryan Zimmerman, Trey Turner, Anthony Rendon, and Juan Soto. Another one for Jack and the Nats. Our last case for the time being of museum collection is in the store now. So get your team straight up. If you don't want your team straight up, we can wait for a uh, a team random or something like that. At a two ninety nine Tommy fan, but if you don't want to wait for a team random, get your teams now. We have plenty of time to bust open another one tonight. We are live until around 11 o'clock Pacific. Rays with that one. Jacob Z with the Rays straight up. All right, we're halfway through the break now. Another box. Robert Rohr looking for some Cal Ripken Jr. ink. He's on the box. We haven't seen any significant Cal Ripken Jr. stuff, but you did get Last Spot Mojo. George, what, what did I miss? That's kind of a loaded question. I mean, everything. Every break had something big. What do you think, you guys? You've been watching the show all day, all night. Thank you. For that, what do you think the, the big hits of the day have been? That feels like the frame. It is. Silver frame. 
Silver frame, silver frame. <laughs> We're all we did pull a lot of Mets. All right, next box. There's Kyle Tucker for the Strohs for Mark B. Here's Joey Votto for the Reds. That'll be part of the serial number stack. All right, we've got Buster Posey. Two-color quad relic, 38 out of 99 for the Giants. Serial number 38. Let's see what we got here. Number 38 goes to John Fernandez. Nice one, John. A little oppo Joe Mojo as well. Then we've got Stephen Piscotti. Three color, triple relic, and autograph. 59 out of 99 for Scott Claremont and the A's. Meaningful material, Jason Hayward, out of 35, Sean Mandel, another Cub. And the frame behind Eloy Jimenez is, there it is, Robert, I got you. 13 out of 15, silver frame, silver ink, Cal Ripken Jr. for Robert Rohr, last spot mojo. There it is. Man, if I didn't if I didn't mark that last spot mojo star right there, it would have been something else. It would have been something else. Thank God I did that. Otherwise, it would have been a Met. Last spot mojo is real, boys and girls. Nice. He's on. He's on the box. I was like, we got We got to hit this guy sooner or later. The Iron Man. That record will never be broken, right? All those games in a row. I mean, you got to be, you got to be healthy, obviously, and you got to, you got to be deadly. I'm sure he's gone through some slumps, but you got to be decent enough to to roll out there every day. What was the? Uh, yeah, it's also a different era, Todd. That's true. What What was the official record? Is it consecutive games started or appeared in? I guess you know because I guess you can kind of fudge around with that, right? If it's consecutive games appeared in, you can make an appearance. Every day, right? For like an inning and make that count. So I don't know if there was any instances of that. Has, it, has anyone fact-checked Ripken Street? Were there games where they just put them in in the ninth inning and that counts? I'm sure there's some wild YouTube video about the truth behind Cal Ripken Streak. Hey, what's up, guys? Corey here. 39 out of 50, Barry Larkin, Reds. Uh, 
All right. Bryce Harper reveals a Paul DeYoung at a 299. John with the Cardinals. John G. Nice, George. It's a solid price. There's Kirsch. Behind him is his former teammate, Zach Ranke, 67 out of 99. John Mortolaro with the Snakes. I wonder, if, I wonder if he'll get traded. Jeremy Mennel saying they should have let Kike Hernandez pitch last season. Oh, I think it was. I think it might have been the year before, actually, where he, where he would have played every position. I think catching is what he needed to do. Yeah, because I think it was a year or two ago, either last year or the year before. Where like where he had he had played every position at least once. Nice Peter Alonzo out of fifty. Bradley with the Mets. I think all he had to do was play catcher, and that would have had him play every single position on the field because I think he pitched in a blowout or something like that and he just needed to catch but he's, he played first second or everything just except for catching and meaningful material there's Rugnet Odor 20 out of 35 That's for the Rangers, Ed Ram. I do not remember any Diamondbacks in the last break. That doesn't mean there wasn't any, I just don't remember it. It's been light on Mariners. I haven't seen Mariners in a lot of these cases. Wait, Al Alzale is making a made a start, Rex. No, I don't. No one mentioned that Winker play yet, Todd. Did, what, did they not review it? Well, that's good. I've got. I'm on the. I'm on the. I have. I'm on the Cubs tonight. Got financial interest in the Cubs. They, that score line needs to stand. Six three. Oh, he's in. He's in relief. Wait, he was totally safe, but they reviewed it and still called him out? That's not how, how replays are supposed to work, baseball. Behind Max Scherzer is, is a Cardinal. It's Yachty. 15 out of 75. For the Cardinals, John. John G. with the Redbirds. Who are still down by a couple runs. I need them to win, too. There's Walker Bueller. Behind Walker is Steven Strasburg. 36 out of 50. Jack with the Nats. Usai reveals a Jim Rice. 
165 out of 299. That's part of this. That's a serial number team. So that'll be included in the lot. Actually, I'll put it on that side over there. And behind Masahiro Tanaka, we have a David Dahl. Triple relic and autograph six out of 25. That goes to Donald Brazier and the Rockies. All right, three boxes to go. Like I said, we got another Pick Your Team available on jazpiecasebreaks.com right now. We are down to 23 on that. If you don't want to deal with those uh, serial numbers and number blocks and team randoms and all that sort of stuff, if you don't want to deal with that, hey, get your teams. Let's sell it out straight up. We also have half case random teams available as well. George, do you think I should have, should have that Frank Gore grade? What, which Frank Gore? I don't remember a Frank Gore. So 23 teams left in the next full case break of Museum. 22 spots left in a random team break of Museum. And we've got some other fun things on the website too if you want to check that out. We should be done with this break in about, oh... 15 minutes or so. I don't remember the... Oh, okay. I think I kind of remember that. I don't remember the details of that card without it being in front of me, but... Sometimes the, the thicker cut cards often have some, uh, could have some issues with the edges and the corners and stuff like that. So when you get it, I, I would double check that and see if it's worth grading. It's debatable. There's, there is some debate on whether grading a one of one is necessary or not. Some people say no. Um, some people say, yeah, just to protect it. You want to slab that up just to protect it. All right. We've got another Peter Alonzo. This time it's at a 299. That'll be for Bradley and the Mets. There's Big Boppy. Get well soon. And there is Meaningful Material, Justin Verlander, Tigers Edition. Four out of 25. Nice low number there for Chad B., and the Tigers. And we've got for the Yankees, 15 out of 25, Don Mattingly. It's our first Yankee in this break. There you go, Primary Pieces Legends Quad Relic. Number five... That is Josh Proust, last spot mojo. There you go, Josh. I guess I'll set Yankees cards right over there. And then we got Franklin Barreto, or Beretta. 49 out of one. I wish it was Beretta. Maybe sponsored by the firearm company or something like that. Scott Claremont. Get your Franklin Barreto Beretta today. All right? 49 out of 1. The special, special edition Barreto Beretta. He has, has his own, like, custom 92F. Huh? What do you think, gun guys? Would you buy a Franklin Barreto Beretta? Maybe in A's colors? 
Nice. Dark forest green. Grip. Maybe not. Maybe that's not a good sponsorship opportunity for Franklin Barreto. Barreto Barreto. But, you know, Logan's like, don't like Barreto. But yeah, but his name, it's just too obvious. It's just an obvious sponsorship opportunity. there folks and Eloy Jimenez to 150 White Sox that'll be part of the lot Machado reveals a Yankee Andy Pettit momentous material and autograph that's number six out of 15 Sean Mandel with number six, nice. Hey, you're welcome, Sean. There's Trevor Bauer to 75 for the tribe. That'll be a serial number, that's 42. Jackie Robinson out of 75. Number 42 is Stephen Kay. There you go, Stephen K. on the board with a number. Behind Blake Snell is a national, Max Scherzer. 35 out of 35 for Jack B. and the Nats. Max, Max Scherzer taking it to the Max yesterday. Pitching with that broken nose. Gamer. Aimer. And back here is Jesus Aguilar, 12 out of 299 for the Brew Crew. And that is for Lou. Picked up the Brewers straight up. That is the second Pettit patch auto we've seen, Rich. We saw one in the previous case and one in this case. Thank you, Johnny. All right, and the last box, ladies and gents. Thank you very much for getting in. We've got some more in the store. Our last pick your team is in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And we've got um, two half case random team breaks. That's our last random team break as well. All of that is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm looking at the site. We've got one more team snapped up in the pick your team. I don't see anything else selling out. So we'll need something to do after this. So let's do something. Jordan Poole just got drafted by the Golden State Warriors to shooting guard. So... Without Clay Thompson, dust off your dust off your pool autos, or when you when you get them eventually, hang on to your pool autos. Two sketch cards? Is that a actual sketch sketch?
Wow, we got an actual sketch sketch right there. All right, there's Luis Severino, 91 out of 50. It'll be for Diana, number one in the Yankees, random number block. There is uh, Javier Baez to 150 for the Cubs. So here's the reproduction. And then we got Steven Matz for the Mets for Bradley to 299. There's Whit Merrifield, one out of 50 for the Royals. That's going to be for Robert. Yes, Josh Poos is right, B-dubs. It was Cal Ripken Jr. to 15. That's pretty nice. In fact, I have it right here next to me. Bing! There it is. Meaningful material. Jose Peralta for the Reds to 50. That's a serial number team. It's 35. That's for Mike Cody. Quad Relic, we got Clayton Kershaw. 36 out of 99. Serial number 36, Joseph Andreessen with 36. I think that's your second hit for that number. And the sketch card, I can't really tell who that is right there. A shortstop, maybe? It's Alan Trammell. Nice. That's Chad B. and the Tigers. There you go, Chad. Old Tigers legend, Alan Trammell. And there's the artist right there, John something. There you go. You can see the nice pencil work there, the nice shading, the blue in the background. Underrated player, I think finally got in the Hall of Fame recently. So there you go, Chad. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Big fan of the original sketch card. And there you have it, folks. That's the way it ends. Nothing to do with the Yankees here. We do have to randomize. So all the cards that were numbered 101 and up, as well as the non-numbered base cards for just those serial number teams, we've got to do the randomizer for that. So that's a list. And you can see the list of teams on that bottom tab right there. Let me grab the original 20-spot list. Bring up some dice, and I don't think I have anything else to randomize, right? No, nothing else to randomize. So let's get the 20 names in here. There's everyone right there. Good luck. Name on top gets the extra lot of stuff for those teams. After six times, three and a three, six the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, five, four, three, two, and Michael. I don't think I called your name all break, Michael K. So congrats to you. You got a little a couple extra things. I think there are some, some hits that were over 101 as well, or 101 and up. So you should be getting some extra stuff plus a couple hits too. So congrats to you. Thanks, everybody. That was Pick Your Team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got half case random teams. And another full case picker team available. Let's get those teams straight up and knock out another one tonight. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.